So I've got the towel underneath her occiput, and I'm bringing it around to her forehead. Now I'm going to take my fist, maybe I have to show you from this side, take my fist and and squeeze the towel. Now it tightens around her skull pretty good. Obviously I don't want to compress her skull, but enough. I'm going to use this side because it's just how I do it. Now I'm going to pull this with this hand directly towards me, not down or up, directly back. And I'm tractioning her neck. Now I'm over a little bit from side to side as well. If this was the first time I was doing it, I would do it a little bit and then ask her how it is. 99% of people will say that's just fantastic. That just feels fantastic. If they don't have compressed discs, you can also compress back a little bit and then pull towards you. Sometimes if you push on a stuck drawer and then pull, you can get a better release. And a little more advanced, I'm going to hold her head in place and I'm going to drop that headpiece away again. Now I've dropped the headpiece away and I'm going to bring her up a little bit and I'm going to traction superior and a little bit posterior. Now I'm really stretching the front of her neck. So if she had, for example, head forward posture, I'm going to stretch down uh -huh. and back and I'm going to put my hand on your chest and push the other way just to stretch those muscles oh, on the okay. front of your neck. That's sure. okay? Okay, sure. good. So, and just, uh, just relax again there. And now I can, it's a little bit warm here with all the camera lights, so I'm kind of skidding. Normally my hand would just stick to her chest there and I could push. And so I'm getting a real good traction on all those muscles on the front of the neck and the fascia and help her to bring her head back into the, from an anterior position into a better position. How's that feel? Oh, it feels super. <laughs> oh, good. Wiggle it around, just try to turn it both ways. Do you Ooh. see how when you went to the yeah. right, it, you, you stopped, and then a second later you turned it further? Yeah, that's, yeah. that's further than I was doing. Yeah. Are you feeling something pinch when you go to the right now or not? Um, a little bit in my back, but my back. the neck feels good. And that's important information. <laughs> that's the other thing that I didn't mention. When I was tractioning, I usually ask them where they feel it, if they do. And some people will say, I can feel that all the way down to my sacrum. So you know that you're getting a real good traction. Some people will say, well, it, I can feel it right here. And they'll, you know, from that, and if you can see my finger, they'll point to their chest and point to their back. And they say, you know, I can feel it right there. So now I'll slide my other hand underneath their back and go right to below the position that they showed me and press into that. Or I may even roll them on their side and use my little T-bar and twist their back a little bit and really press right into that area that they just showed me work it with the precious tool, and then have them lay down and traction again, and this time pull, and see if we got a good release in that area that they were showing me. Okay, roll on your back and let's see. And then I'm pulling straight towards myself, not in the direction that my elbow is turned. I think I just heard a little pop. Yep. Yeah. Was that down in your back? Mm-hmm. Right in that spot? Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the same? Mm -hmm. The place where he was with the T-bar. And you see it's my legs that are doing the work here. I'm pushing. If if I didn't have if I had a table with more leg room, I'd have my legs straight out and I'd be actually pulling. Now can you imagine if you had a device that was hooked to your chest. Now I can have both hands free to be feeling where C1 and C2 are and working yeah. with them at the same time as, as I'm pulling and using my legs to traction. It's going to be awesome. Well, the hook here is no problem. It's putting something on here that doesn't compress the TMJ at the same time. Mm -hmm. See, I don't want to be pulling on her, on her jaw. 
Now, do you feel it all the way down to your sacrum? Or to a different place? Uh, I don't feel it where I was feeling it. Yes. I feel it a little bit inside my shoulder blades, just right there. I don't feel anything here. Like, it just feels open. Yeah. Okay. So we would mark that down or go and work on that. There's a membrane that attaches to, I believe, the occipital protuberance, a membrane that hooks to the dura tube. So the you what? can Sorry. the dura tube. That's what the spine is in. Down through the uh -oh. the hole in the spine is a tube that runs all the way down. Inside it is cerebral spinal fluid. Inside the fluid is right. the cord, and that that when you take the pelvis course, if the pelvis isn't sitting right. There's a there's a direct connection between the hip bones and the temporal bones, the ilium and the temporal bones, and the sacrum and the occiput. And we won't be teaching that here. And also the dura tube. Sometimes, if the pelvis is really off, it can be pulling in the dura tube all the way up into into this area. It could be jamming this up. Mm -hmm. The dura tube, when it comes up into the skull, becomes the inner lining of the skull bones. It balloons out. It also divides the brain into into uh, to four hemispheres, four quadrants. Mm -hmm. And so theoretically, mm -hmm. if it's pulling down there, it can actually even distort the brain. Oh. Uh, at some point, if not the first session, at some session when you traction on them, feel the traction all the way down that dura tube, all the way right down into the uh, pelvis, right into the sacrum is what you're wanting them to say. Because if they're feeling something else tightening, it's a real good clue as something that you need to be working on and releasing. You don't have time then, mark it down for your next session so you know to work them on their face down. You can work into that back more easily. For the new ones, where do we oh and help me see one location the rotation tilt and shear? I think you're gonna be a little sore tomorrow. <laughs> 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 Clearly no next issue there. Um, positive critique. I really like, I mean, we have, you've been practicing for over 20 years, right? I've been practicing for seven. You're brand new. For a few months yeah. already. A few <laughs> months already. So what, what I think is, was great about yesterday is the way that you presented it. I mean, this is pretty, um, it's specific work, but we could all jump in and really get something out of it and all get something that I think we could probably just start using right away something even if we're not comfortable doing the you know the oh, whole um, everything we went over everything. but yeah I mean that's that's I'm comfortable with everything it was very comfortable for me okay. so I think that's really neat because not a lot of classes offer that where it feels like everybody at all different levels could just understand it and you know take something to use it.